Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I designed this Shopify website. This website is perfect for beauty, hair, cosmetic, fashion, and other business types. This website is also optimized to look perfect on mobile and desktop. In today's tutorial, we will be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're familiar with Canva, you can set up a free account and you can create all kinds of graphics. So without further ado, let's get into this video. First, you're just gonna open up Shopify and then you're gonna click online store and then you're gonna go to their themes section. Once you scroll down here, you will see all of their free website templates that they have. I'm gonna be installing the original Dawn theme and this is just gonna be the base for our website. Once that's finished installing, I'm just gonna click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you the website in full screen preview. And when you click here, this will show you the mobile version. First, I'm gonna click on the header. I'm gonna set the desktop logo position to top center. I'm I'm gonna go here to theme settings and right here under logo you'll be able to upload your logo and your favicon image i'd recommend uploading your logo in a transparent png format and to increase the size of your logo right under desktop logo width i'm gonna set this to 300 pixels under announcement bar i'm gonna click on this text here and you'll be able to type in your announcement bar text i'm gonna head over to colors and i'm gonna click on color scheme one and i'm just gonna set this to a beige color and then I'm gonna set the text to a sort of wine color. I'm gonna set the solid button background to the same color as well as the outline button. Next, I'm gonna click on color scheme two and I'm gonna set this background to that wine color. I'm gonna set the text to white. I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme two. When you scroll down and you scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. I'm gonna remove that. So right under sticky header, I'm just gonna click none. If you'd like the header to remain there, you can just click always. And once you're finished, here is how our website is going to look so far. And next, I'm going to show you how I designed the web banner. So next, I'm going to show you how I designed this web banner. Currently, this is set to an image banner. So I'm just going to click add section. And here, I'm going to select slideshow. I'm gonna click on this image banner and remove this. Currently, the slideshow shows numbers down here. So I'm just gonna change this to dots. Under desktop content position, I'm gonna set this to bottom center. I'm gonna remove the container on desktop. Here, I'm gonna remove the heading text and the subheading text. And then right here under button label, you can go ahead and title this button label and paste a link straight to your product collection or a page in your website. Next, I'm gonna head over to Canva and I'm gonna be showing you how I designed those slideshow banners. I've opened up Canva and here I'm just gonna select custom size. The dimensions I'm gonna be using are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm just gonna set this background to a similar background color that we used on the website. Then I'm gonna apply one of their grids. I'm gonna reduce the opacity to 14. And then here you can go ahead and drag and drop the background picture that you would like to add. Next, you can go ahead and upload your pictures. So I'm just gonna be using Canva's background removal feature. This is a Canva Pro feature, so if you don't have Canva Pro, you may have to go into another editor and remove the background. Once you're finished, I'm just gonna click on text and I'm gonna upload a text box. I'm gonna change this to the color white and I'm gonna apply the font Hamilton. I'm gonna upload another text box. I'm gonna put this in uppercase, then apply the font brown sugar. Then I'm gonna upload one last text box. I'm gonna put this in uppercase, then apply the font the seasons. Next, I'm just gonna click add page. I'm gonna change the background to a light beige color. Under elements, I'm gonna go to frames. Then I'm just gonna upload three of these square frames. Now you can just go ahead and drag and drop your pictures. I'm gonna upload a text box. I'm gonna set this to that wine color. You're gonna put this in uppercase and I'm gonna apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm gonna duplicate this and create two text boxes, one above this text and one below it. I'm gonna set this bottom text to the font Canva Sans. Next, you're just gonna click add page. I'm gonna upload another one of those square frames. Here under shapes, I'm gonna upload a square shape and I'm just gonna create a border right behind this frame. Next, you can just drag and drop your picture. I'm gonna upload a text element. I'm gonna change this to that wine color and apply the font Hamilton. I'm gonna upload another text box. Then I'm gonna set this to Dream Avenue. And I'm gonna upload a third text box and I'm gonna be setting this to the font Canva Sans. Once you're finished, I'm just gonna click add page. I'm gonna upload another one of those square frames and then I'm gonna create another outline for this image as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this text up here and then just paste it onto this canvas. 
Then you can go ahead and drag and drop your picture. Once you're finished, these will be our finished slideshow banners. I'm gonna go ahead and download these in a PNG format for the best quality. And then here on Shopify, I'm just gonna click select image and then you can go ahead and upload those web banners. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. And here's how this web banner is going to look and next I'm just gonna add the last three. For the second slide, I'm going to set this to bottom center. I'm going to remove the container as well as removing the text. You're going to apply the outline button style and then upload that second web banner. And next, I'm just going to repeat this step for the last two banners. And once you're finished, that is how I designed the slideshow section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the collection list. I'm just going to click add section and here I'm going to upload a collection list. I'm going to increase the number of columns to four. Then I'm going to title this section and here you'll be able to select which collection you would like to feature. So really quickly, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just collections of products that you've chosen to put together to organize your shop. To create a collection here on your Shopify homepage, you're just going to click products and then collections. Select create collection and here you'll be able to title your collection. You can manually add products to your collection and you'll also be able to set a cover image for the collection. Now I'm going to show you guys how I designed those collection covers. So I'm here on Canva and I've just opened up a template that is 1000 by 1000 pixels. I'm gonna go here to element and I'm gonna upload a photo grid. Next, I'm gonna upload a text box. I'm gonna change this to the color white. I'm gonna apply a lift effect and then I'm gonna apply the font authentic. Next, you're just gonna duplicate this page four times. Now you can go ahead and drag and drop your pictures. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and download these. When you're done, I'm gonna show you how to upload those collection covers. So once again, you're just gonna go to products and then collection, click create collection, or you can open an existing product collection. Right here under image, you can just select that image from your computer. And that is how to upload your collection covers. And once you're finished, here's how the shop categories is going to look. Now I'm going to show you how I did the About Us section. I'm just going to add an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm going to remove the second button label. And here you can go ahead and title your button label and select a link. I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. And here in color scheme 2, I'm just going to change the solid button background to white. Then you can fill in your text. Here in Canva, I've just opened up the same web banner template that we're already on and I'm just gonna click add page. I'm gonna upload a grid. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this and then upload my background image. I'm gonna upload another grid and then drag and drop a picture here. Next, I'm just gonna download this image. Then I'm gonna upload it here into the about us section. Right under image behavior, I'm gonna set this to a fixed background position. Once you're finished, that is how I did the about us section. Just wanted to mention, this template is currently available on my shop. It is a done-for-you Shopify template. It also includes all of the Canva templates that you see me putting together in this video, so you wouldn't have to do any of that from scratch. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, it will come in a zip format, and here on your Shopify homepage, you can easily upload that zip file format, and it will install into your store. It comes with an easy step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with editing. Also, a lot of you guys wanted to know if I offered custom installation or if I could install your Shopify template for you. I'm really excited to announce that I'm officially offering custom installation. So if you'd like me to go in and install this Shopify template onto your store and customize it for you and add all your pictures, and I will have that installed and customized for you in about 48 hours. That will be linked in my description box and use my code Beverly20 for 20% off of your template. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the shop qualities section. First, I'm just going to apply multi-column. I'm going to remove the button label. I'm going to remove the column background. And I'm going to set the column alignment to center. I'm going to remove this heading. Next, you can go ahead and title these sections to represent your brand. And of course, I'm just using this as an example text. So you can go ahead and type your descriptions right here. Here on Canva, I'm just going to open up the same web banner that we're already on. And I'm going to click add page. I'm going to upload a circle element. And here you can search for the elements that you'd like to upload. So I'm just going to upload a lipstick icon. I'm going to duplicate this page twice and then you can proceed to upload whatever icons you'd like to represent your brand. Next, you're just going to download those designs. And then here on Shopify, you can just upload each of those icons. To reduce the size of the icon, right under image width, I'm just going to set this to half width of column. Once you're finished, here's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'm gonna be adding the featured product collection. So here, I'm just gonna select featured collection. Then I'm just gonna fill in this title. And here, you'll be able to select your product collection. And once you're finished, here is how that featured product collection will look. I'm gonna show you how I designed the customer review section. Here, I'm just gonna apply multi-column. I'm gonna remove this button label. I'm gonna increase the number of columns to four. 
I'm going to set the column alignment to center. When you click on a column right here under heading, I'm just going to be pasting five of these star emojis. Right here under description, you can go ahead and type in your customer's review and then you can put their name right down here and I'd recommend putting that in bold. So I'm just using this text as an example. When you click this icon, you can paste a link straight to your customer's review or straight to the product that they left the review on. Once you're finished, that is how I designed the customer feedback section. Now I'm going to show you how I designed that image banner. Here I'm just going to insert an image banner. I'm going to remove the second button label. I'm going to apply the outline button style. Here on Canva, I've opened up that same web banner template and I'm going to click add page. I'm going to upload two of those square frames. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. I'm going to position this to the back to create another outline. And I'm going to repeat that step for this frame. Next, you can just drag and drop your pictures. I'm going to insert a text box. I'm going to apply the font Beautifully Delicious. And then I'm just going to duplicate this font. Next, I'm just going to apply a lift effect. Once you're finished, you can just download that image. And then you can upload it here into the image banner on Shopify. I'm going to set the banner height to adapt to first image. And that is how I designed this image banner. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the email section and the blog post section. First, I'm just going to add a email sign up. For the blog post, I'm just going to apply multi row. As you'll see, there are three rows. I'm just going to remove this third one, but you can leave this in. And of course, this whole step is optional for if you have a blog. I'm going to select a solid button style, and then you can go ahead and fill in the button labels and link them to your blog post. Under heading, this is where you can put the title of your blog post. When you click select image, you can go ahead and upload an image to represent your blog post. And then you can just repeat that step for this second row. Once you finish, that is how I did the email sign up in the blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I did the Instagram post section. I'm just going to upload an image banner. I'm going to remove all of the text elements and the button labels. Then I'm going to remove the containers. I'm going to add a rich text section. Then I'm going to remove these text blocks. I'm going to apply the outline button style. And here you can paste a link straight to your Instagram. Now I'm going to show you how I designed this web banner. Here on Canva, I'm just going to be clicking add page to this web banner template. I'm going to upload a text box, and I'm going to put this in the font Hamilton. You're going to upload another text box. I'm going to put this in the font Dream Avenue, and I'm going to put this in uppercase. I'm going to duplicate this and make a smaller text box right below it. Here in Elements, I'm going to upload another square frame, and I'm going to design this in a sort of stair step pattern. Here you can upload the Instagram post that you would like to feature, and then just drag and drop them. Under elements, you can just search for an Instagram icon and then upload one of these icons. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this, then I'm going to upload another text box. Here, you can go ahead and type in your Instagram username, and then I'm just going to apply the font Noto Sheriff. And then you can go ahead and download this. Here in Shopify, you can go ahead and upload that web banner. Once again, I'm going to set the banner height to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that is how I designed the Instagram post section. All right, and here is our finished Shopify website. Also, once again, this Shopify theme template is currently available in my store. It is a fully done for you template that you can install with one click. It includes all of the Canva templates that you see me putting together in this video. And also a lot of you guys were asking me if I could install the themes for you. So I do have a custom installation service available. So if you guys would like to book me to install your theme onto your Shopify store, that will be linked in my description box. Just in case you're wondering how I would install your theme for you, Shopify does have a collaboration feature so you would just add me as a collaborator onto your shop and you would just give me access to your theme design settings that way I can just go in install your website and customize it for you and I wouldn't have access to any other parts of your store my turnaround time is about 48 hours so I will have your theme installed and designed for you in about 48 hours so yeah if you'd like to book me I will link that in my description box along with this website template if you're interested in another style of Shopify website check out this video here on my channel